Sunday and as you can see I'm at the store and normally stores are closed on Sundays. Today is special, it's like four times a year I think but the stores are open and one of those days is today and it's almost like Black Friday at least here. So there are actually people outside that are taking care of the traffic because it is a madhouse here. It's um, They have a special today, like 15% off of stuff. But yeah, Germans love their like cheaper stuff. <laughs> so there are a lot of people here right now. I'm not sure what they are buying. I think a lot of people are actually just buying like of flowers and stuff. My mom is over there still talking. We just had uh, coffee. And yeah, I'll probably buy some supplies for a cosplay or we'll see. <laughs> So I'm in the pool section right now, yay! I didn't expect the pool section, so that is number one. Whoa! And then I saw this and I'm like, well, it doesn't look 100% like Ray's staff, but it does elements you could use. But then again, I don't want to pay 34 euros for that. <laughs> I can get the parts that he printed and they're more accurate. But to be honest, those parts ain't bad, right? At least if I wanted to build something, like freestyle. All right, at least I was successful in this area. I actually asked one of the guys, um, this you can use to basically, you drill a hole into wood, um, screw this in, and then you can basically, ah. okay guys, you need to help me. How's this called in English? Maybe it's on there in English, no it's not. So you basically um, can screw that in and then you connect for example two wooden dowels which i want to do i basically want to take a whole dowel and split it in thirds probably or half it depends on the size no 90 centimeters wouldn't fit so i would third it and then i can transport uh, her staff for example which i want to do and i watched lightning cosplay yesterday and she basically explained how she does it she used the m6 so i guess i'll use those too Wait, what is this? <gasps> Those are small ones. How cool. All right, this is easy. Ah, all right. We need four of those. If I never left, but I exchanged Yuri for my mom. <laughs> and he's looking at tools and stuff. So, oh, I've never shown you. And here, you guys know Bosch. All the machines and... Yeah, we, we have so many things, it's ridiculous, but I was talking to one of the employees earlier, so we Germans don't really build big things. We fix and improve stuff, but we don't build like the Americans, because we were talking about that. So you find more stuff for fixing things than actually building things, which makes it really hard to find stuff. And he also talked about a guy from Canada who was looking for stuff here because Canada and America you find basically everything and anything in home improvement stores but not in Germany so I'm having a hard time to find EVA foam it's not available here um, there are it's, it's pr basically pretty much the same like in America those puzzle mats which are out of EVA foam but they don't have that here so I have to check on the internet and it was really expensive on eBay so I didn't want to buy it um, maybe I can find it. Apparently, you can go to sports stores in Germany, like fitness stores that sell like bigger machines. Um, it's basically used underneath them, so maybe I'm lucky. We'll see. Might just be very, like, by coincidental, but I do like German. Um, how do you call them? Home improvement stores, kind of. Yeah, they have so much more proper tools. Oh, I said last time, like quality tools. And not even for that bad of a price per se. Don't hit anything. I see you hitting stuff very soon. You cannot be trusted with stuff. But I'm not kidding, like most of the things are a fair price. And I like that. Hey, Nero! Hello! Hi! Bye! I decided to walk home after dropping off the car when I forgot my Fitbit earlier so I didn't get any steps from running around in the um, home improvement store. It's such a weird word. In German it's Baumarkt which basically means like building market, like construction market, something like that. And after that we were raiding my storage which is basically my mom's and my storage and it's, it's weird. My mom 
I would say is an artist, but not. <laughs> it's, it's like the weirdest thing ever. She does a lot of like course stuff where she goes to, or she even um, teaches other people how to, but she never does anything on her own. It's always like in that setting. And she she's good in copying things, I would say. So if someone shows her something, she can make that. So she would be probably really good in cosplay. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I, on the other hand, when I was sewing costumes, I was in freestyle. <laughs> so I created new things, which I have not really done for the cosplay I'm doing now. I'm trying to copy, obviously, or recreate characters that exist. But maybe I can go back to my roots and actually create, like, characters A that don't exist, or two, just take Ray and make something new, original. So what I wanted to say, so we're, we're raiding our storage unit. I was looking for oil paints, couldn't find them. And plus, they are probably like 20 years old. <laughs> so yeah, no, no less, less 15 maybe, or 12, whatever. So, nah, <laughs> they, they are probably not good anymore. They're probably hardened. So I didn't find those. I took the acrylic and we found other stuff, really cool stuff. <laughs> so funny every time we're up there we find new things i for example found a polaroid camera an original one with a rainbow and stuff i mean we have a polaroid camera i think i took it to the yes or we bought one there at goodwill for a couple of bucks however i found one of the original but like the really cool ones in the packaging from then it was a bit destroyed whatever not the camera but the packaging but you was like Whoa! so cool also best thing ever i knew it was there i just didn't know where and how much i found black leather thick black leather which i can use for the belt for ray for my dark ray and i'm excited because one i don't have to spend money two it has the right color already and three it's long enough and that's what i was worried about because i would have taken the same leather that i've bought for legatha but I wasn't sure if I get it in the right length and money, you know. So I'm really happy. So pretty much, I mean, I actually bought some boots which I will um, redo for Ray. And I bought the uh, gauge uh, material. But besides that, I found pretty much everything <laughs> there, which is cool. So I have the uh, wooden dowel. I just talked to my brother. He might have someone who can print the stuff. Okay, in that case, the staff. <laughs> that would be so cool. Oh my god, I'm, I'm really excited. I think this is coming together and then... I still don't know. I asked on Facebook if I should be dark grey with blonde hair or dark grey with a normal hair color. So I would probably have to wear a wig because I need to keep this for Legatha like, for a while up to the point when I can actually finish it, make photos and so on. And I actually want to participate in the cosplay contest at Comic-Con Germany. The only issue right now is it is sold out for Saturday where the cosplay contest is and you need a ticket for it. And I was hoping that one of my friends actually could help me with that, but not. <laughs> so I need to figure out how to get a ticket for Saturday and that's going to be a challenge. And you basically have to um, sign up for the, for the contest pretty soon. That also means I would need to finish like Damn it! How do I do that? <laughs> and I need to figure out when I, what I want to do as the big Star Wars costume for the celebrations. <sighs> yeah, you wish you had those problems, right? So I just walked through the Rose Garden, which is not bloomed yet, um, next to the cemetery or how you call it, graveyard. So tell me, Americans, do you actually say cemetery or is it always a graveyard or is graveyard just a spooky one or doesn't even matter and you say both. Those are pretty. Whee. There are a couple of things which I wasn't aware of. You can often find here this bush. It also exists as a tree. And my grandparents had one of those in the garden. Big one was cool. I think I talked about it. But here in this area, you find it like every fourth house has one. The other thing is, if you look into the windows, you will see a lot of orchids because 
there's holes everywhere. I don't know why, but most people have them in the windows. My mom has a lot. I wasn't aware of that, but basically look into a window. Well, this is actually a flower shop, but <laughs> up there they had a couple, but you can't see because it's too far away. But it's a very German thing to have orchids in your windows. Proof. Then again, it's end of April. I just wanted to say they normally flower in May, June, but we're almost in June. However, we had snow today. What the hell? <laughs> it's getting cold. It's like four degrees right now. And I realized I should stop talking to you guys because it's slowing me down. I have to get home. Live show. Oh. Earlier today, we actually stopped by the practice from her dad's where there's like a storage upstairs for boxes and stuff right now. And that place is legitimately a magical world of random stuff you can find there. So Sarah actually was looking for oil paint for her Legatha costume in order to help with the weathering. That's the word I was looking for. And while we're going through the stuff, we came across this actually real Polaroid camera, which I think we have at least a few cartridges for in the US. Hopefully those fit. A random toy gun which actually is like weighted, so that's kind of fun to play around with. Something that I'm personally excited about is that we actually found four canvases that I want to do something over there with. I don't know what yet, but we'll figure something out. And something that I found personally very funny, and doesn't surprise me whatsoever that Sarah does have something like this. It's a space pen, one of those fancy pens that is supposed to write upside down and everywhere for space. Problem is, is that the cartridge is empty, but I like the pen. So we're probably going to see if we can find a uh, replacement cartridge for it. To write at least. It doesn't have to be a fancy space one. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Look at that. Also, thank you guys for showing up in the live stream. Today was not our day. First off, I started having problems with the audio. I couldn't get it to work at all. I just stopped working altogether. I had an update for the live stream software earlier this week, and we did test it. Worked fine. Of course, it didn't today. And of course, five seconds after that, we started the stream. The internet started acting up. But it was a good stream. I didn't. I, I felt awake. Sometimes it's like you're sitting there, you're feeling uh, yeah. I'm falling asleep. And today that was not the case. <laughs> yeah. So we had to completely reset our router, which takes like five to ten minutes. It's the slowest boot up ever. But luckily after that, it worked. We talked a bunch with you guys about like, some random stuff, and uh, it turned out great. So right now, I actually also have about a week's worth of German course stuff done. So it's gonna be a very boring week for me, but. Nonetheless, I'm getting better at the German thing, so that's kind of cool.